data entry in Sage ACPAC. If you use ACPAC every day, you may be uh, doing a lot of data entry. And there's a few secrets that I know that people often find helpful um, in terms of speeding up that data entry. Um, a few of them are just real basic Windows things. So I'm going to use the customer entry screen as an example. So I'm in AR customers. And if you hold down the Alt key, like press on the Alt key, suddenly a whole bunch of underlines appear. So if you see where the file button is indented and the F is underlined and the setting is next to it and the T is underlined. So if I hold down, if I press F now, it's going to open that file um, drop down for me. And the, you can see the P is underlined. So if I press P, that's going to make the print screen appear. And then you can see anything on that screen that has an underlined letter, I can use the Alt key in combination with that underlined letter to basically be the same as press that button. So close in the bottom right there, the, the C and close is underlined. So I'm going to hold down Alt and press C, and that's actually going to close and back that screen out. So that's just a little regular Windows trick. Same idea. I'm going to type in our customer number here, and then I do Tab, and I can use the Tab key to move through all the fields on the screen. So I don't have to pick up my mouse and move um, through fields or move to the field that I want to be. I can also hold down the Shift key and press the Tab, and it's going to move through the fields, but it's going to do it in reverse order. So you can see as I hold down Shift and Tab, it's working its way back up. Um, I can jump to one of the particular tabs on the screen. So I have an address, a contact, a processing tab. If I want to jump straight to the invoicing tab, you can see that the V is underlined. I can do Alt V, and that's going to jump me to that tab. I can also use the Control Tab key to navigate through those tabs. If I hold down Control and press Tab, it's going to flip me through those tab keys. And just like when I did Tab to move between the fields, I can hold down Shift while I'm doing that. So if I did Control and Shift and hold those two keys down, and then each time I press tab, it's going to navigate through the different tabs in reverse order. So those are just standard Windows things um, that exist to help um, speed up um, data entry. Some, actually, I shouldn't have closed the customer screen. If I go back to the customer screen, a couple specific ACPAC things. Um, F1 is help, so if you press F1 on your keyboard, it's going to open up the help menu. Um, help is context specific. So since I'm on the customer entry screen and I pressed F1, it's going to open up help to customer entry. And actually, I can also press this another key command. I can hold down the Alt and press F4, and that's going to close whatever my active window is. Now, a good ACPAC specific one is F5 to open up the finder. So anytime any screen in ACPAC where you're going to look up a value that you don't know by memory, you see this little magnifying glass. And rather than clicking on the magnifying glass, I can press F5. And that's going to open up that finder for whatever field my cursor is in. And from here, I can use my arrow keys, or my page up and page down, and navigate through. And then if I find the customer I want, I'm going to say Mr. Ronald Black, I can hit Enter. And that's going to go ahead and select that customer for me. So I think that one's helpful. I'm going to hop over to AR Transactions and then um, Receipt Entry. I'm going to just create a um, move this over so you can see it. I create a new batch. I'm going to put in my customer, Mr. Ronald Black, and an ACPAC. And this appears on not all of the screens, but a lot of the screens. On the right side here, there's this blue button. If you roll the mouse over it, it says Go. We call it the Go button. And if you click on that in, in this AR invoice entry screen, it's going to show me the invoices that we could be. Um, I'm sorry, this is the AR receipt screen. This is going to show us the invoices that are available to, to pay. So, but if rather than clicking on the Go button, I can actually press on press F7 on the keyboard, and that will do the same thing as the Go button. So anytime you see that those double blue arrows, um, that's the Go button, and you can use F7. Also, one other good um, function key is F9 that can zoom. In. And zoom works in a bunch of different places. An easy place to see it is in order entry. I'm going to open up order entry. I'm going to say I'm going to create a new order. We tab down. We'll do it for my friend Mr. Ronald Black again. And now if I go into the details, I'm going to press insert to add a row, tab over. I can do F5 to pick what item I want. And I'm going to say the fluorescent desk lamp. And then I can tab through and start to key in all the items. The challenge with, with any data entry screen is when you have a grid, you can only see so many columns. There's only so much real estate on your screen at, at any time. But here, the um, ACPAC shortcut key is F9. If you press F9, that will zoom in. And what that's going to do is going to take you to a screen that shows you every single one of those columns just all laid out on the screen at one time. So here's my item number, my category, my quantity ship, 
And if I say I'm going to order 10 and then tab off it, and then I can do Alt-C to close the zoom, I can see that if I tab through here, then my quantity 10 is ordered. So it's just a, a, a shortcut to get to the zoom. You can also click on this item tax button, of course, but, but the secret um, ACPAC key shortcut is F9. So those are for the, the key commands. There's one other sort of um, helpful way to, I would say, copy data. I want to open up um, GL accounts. I think this is a good example. So, so the situation is that you have a GL account and you want to create another GL account that's just like this GL account. So all the same settings, it's just going to be a different GL account number. So I'm going to open up account 1000, which is my petty cash. And you can see that this account is active. It has a normal balance of debit. It's on the balance sheet. So I want to make a new one. So in order to do that, all I'm going to do is go up to the account type. And you can see down the lower left-hand corner, it's save. It's a, the button says save, which means if I change the description and I click on save, that this account 1000 is going to get a new description. But as soon as I change this account number to 1010, because 1010 doesn't exist already, it just changes the save button to an add button, and it's kept everything else the same. So the debit and the balance sheet and active and the structure code and all of those things, and I can just give it a new description, say new petty cash, and say add. So in a subtle way, we've copied account 1000 to be 1010. I've got both of them there. And this will work on any set of data in ACPEC that I would call flat. So customers or vendors or items or structure codes or things like that. You can go in, open up the one that you wanna sort of copy from, change the key field, whether it's the account number or the item number or the customer number, and then you'll see that button change from save to add. You can fill in anything else that's different if there is anything else that's different. Um, and then click on save. So those are just a handful of shortcut things that if you're using ACPAC every day, um, you'll probably find very helpful. If you have any questions, my name is Scott Holliday. My company is Acumen Information Systems. You can reach me at scott at acumenfl.com or 407-965-2411. Thanks.